Hey, hey, welcome back. In this video, we will design our data model for this class. The mod you remember in the MVC, this is the mod design pattern for any iOS app. We have the model, the view, and the controller. The view usually is your main dot storyboard and something later on you will use code to draw. Okay, you, you, you draw your UI control. The controller is mostly your view controller and the model is your data your data or you, the way you manipulate your data okay so now i will create a new file file new file or you can click uh click command n so i will select file script file because this doesn't have anything to do with ui so we don't have to use coco touch class go to coco touch class coco touch is the framework that uh power powers all the kinds of UI for iOS. Now I will select this one as tip calc, okay, and create. Very simple. Before I, before we dive into this, I will um organize our code very, organize our project a little bit. The view controller dot script we don't need that anymore, so I will delete that one, and we will move it to trash. This one is the view. So I will select that one and I will click new group form selection. This is the view. Okay. This is the view controllers. So this is the controller and this is the model. New group form selection. This is the model. Okay. So now let's dive right into this. If you notice that actually this one is the last challenge that I give you in the introduction to Swift when you learn about Swift. After you learn about class, I give you this project to fill in some to do's in this tip calculator. But now let's actually do it again, right? What the heck, right? <laughs> now I will have a class tip cal. And uh, it's very, very important that when you design any new class, any model or even view controller, that you think of what is the public API for this? How are the other classes will interact with this one? How did this one will give the other classes to access to this? Okay. And then before into, into that, we will need something. We will need the tip amount, right? We need the amount before tax. We need the t percentage. We also need the total amount. So let's do that. We have a var t amount, which is a float. And let's do it. Um, the initial value is zero. Var amount before text is a float. And that is zero again. Okay. Again, okay. var t percentage, percentage, also a float, var total amount also a float and zero all right now because because we give this all of these variables a initial value then we don't have any error but let's try to do this i will delete that one and you will see that this is a comp issues an error of xcode throw at it it says that start property total amount without initial value prevent synthesized initializer what it means is because this one doesn't have any um any starting value any initial values then when you instantiate or you create an instance of this class this tip count class it, um, swift doesn't know what is the value the initial value of this total amount so in this case we will need to have an init an initializer or a constructor for this class. But let's actually, I will put it back like that. And I will also write an init. This is the constructor or the initializer for this class. And I will need the amount before text. Before text, okay. And it is a float. I need the tip percentage. This is um, also a float, okay. And now what do we need here? Well, when I instantiate an instance of this tip calculator app or the instantiate and is a big word, it's just like you create an instance, you create an object from this class tip calc class. We will need to provide the amount before text, which is right there. 
which is the amount before tax. And I also need to provide the tip percentage, right? So I would do self dot amount before tax equals amount before tax. Why do I have to use self? Self is self, self is just um, a pointer. Um, it's the thing that refers to this specific instance. Okay, when I do self dot amount before tax, it means that this amount before tax is this one. It, this variable of this op specific instance of the class is differentiates from this amount before tax, this parameter, this argument in this um, method. Okay, because we have this amount before tax and also we have this amount before tax. So Xcode cannot uh, differentiate what is which, which is what. Okay, so where to use self and nothing is self dot tip percentage tip percentage equals t percentage then we are good to go all right what else what else do we need we also need to calculate the tip right or and the total amount so i will do a function func calculate tip q let tip okay and this one let's make it public all right okay so i would do tip amount equals amount before tax times t percentage right and total amount equals t amount plus amount before tax it's that simple right what do i have here all right let's let's actually delete public okay and i will show you what is public what is private what is internal things like that in the immediate level script in next course and I hope that you will join me in that course okay we will dive into very complex uh, um, more advanced feature of swift that we will need in more advanced topics um, okay so this is our tip count um, data model the model for this class we have the those variables we have the initializer and we have the tip, uh, calculate tip function all right so in the next video, we will learn how to um, implement the view controller, we, how we can talk to the view, how we can use this data model and calculate the tip, right? Until next time, I see you in the next video.